Good morning, Peter Gertz, I'm a psychiatrist. How can we help suicidal people? How can we help a suicidal person? And please don't underestimate the power of a kind word or a smile. They can be very powerful. This past week, I saw a gentleman who'd made a serious suicide attempt. And the first step is, I guess one could say easy. He needed hospitalization, psychiatric hospitalization, in my opinion. But that's just one step. And with that person, with that patient, I realized how wide the whole problem is and how much, how many various aspects can help the person who was suicidal. So if someone is not working, has financial stress, their family is in danger of being on the street, their kids are in danger of being on the street, you can imagine that is a lot of stress for a person and people have their breaking point at some level. People can have legal problems, they may have a court date, they may be facing a major prison sentence, they may not have food, they may not have a place to stay, they may be socially isolated, may have serious medical, physical problems, may not even have insurance, may not even have medical insurance, may be using alcohol or drugs. So those are just some examples of major, very concrete issues that are facing people in life and that would not be cured, of course, by just giving them a prescription for an antidepressant, not even close. And then, of course, you have to think about what the roots of various things are. They may have suffered from abuse in childhood, neglect. So roots run very deep in general. And there's a lot that can be done, in my opinion, aside from what we usually do, which is hospitalization, psychotherapy, medication, antidepressant medication. So, and when I say aside from what we usually do, aside from the first things we think of, I mean, because social workers can help a lot, they can help people a lot, and that's one advantage of having a person go to a psychiatric hospital. They'll have a social worker in the hospital who can, for example, work on housing, work on getting disability, if that's appropriate. And Again, what struck me thinking about that person, about that patient, is psychotherapy and psychiatric medication and hospitalization are just one aspect of what may need to be done for that patient. The patients need food, they need shelter. And one program, when I lived in New York City, one program that was very impressive to me was a program called Pathways to Housing. And they would help homeless people with psychiatric issues, get housing, primarily. That was their first step. Get the person an apartment and get them off the street. And that in itself helped enormously. And some of these people didn't even need psychiatric medication then, or minimal doses, or very small doses. So that was very impressive to me, that approach of giving someone with psychiatric problems who's homeless, giving them housing, and then taking it step by step from there. And again, these people did a lot better just with housing and may not have even needed psychiatric medication after they got housing, even though they still had a chronic or may have still had a chronic psychiatric problem like schizophrenia. Other things that can really help or if you're a family member of someone who looks like they're suffering, try your best to talk with them. Find out what's on their mind, what's really troublesome for them. That can help a lot. And again, like I said in the beginning, a kind word, a smile can do a whole lot. And in my opinion and in my experience, it's not black or white. Generally, people who attempt suicide do not 100% want to kill themselves. Thank you. Bye.